All right. Okay. Good evening, everyone. How are we doing tonight? Is anybody else watching this KC Buffalo game? Cause what? 
Diego, thank you for that subscription. We really appreciate it. Wow. These football games have been a trip this weekend. But we're not here to talk about football. We're here to play some MTG, the Commander League, to be specific. Yeah, I'm sitting here. I got the I got the game on the monitor over here on the third monitor, and it's like <laughs> I was like, oh, Casey's definitely got this. And then I was like, oh wow, Buffalo's gonna turn this around and steal this at the last second. And now it's just into OT. Absolutely insane. I hope that everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We're going to cap the weekend before we start the week strong with a little bit of commander. Yeah, we're almost at the finale. The superb owl. Almost there. Almost there. If you're not familiar with what's going on, Tonight we are playing the last game in our January Commander League. After this, we'll get a new month going for February, new month of the Commander League. And it's going to be a great time to jump in. Actually, no, I think February is already filled up. Sorry about that. Yeah, February is already filled up. March. March will be the one to jump into. We're going to be doing pre-cons. We'll have the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty stuff by then. So those pre-cons will be unlocked to play. We support it all with prize support. Jake and I do. And we run it all through our Discord with the help of our wonderful moderator, Bobby Z. Bobby Z's in the commissioner, if you will. I'm just doing my shuffles for the game here. While we talk about it, last time somebody said, why don't you shuffle on stream? And I was like, okay, I can do that. We give it prize support and it runs every month. Four weeks long is each. It's proxy friendly. And to sign up to play, all you got to do is join our Patreon at any level. Any level of our Patreon will make you eligible to jump into our Commander League and play for cash prizes every single month. What we've done this month is I'll introduce everybody in the games here in just a second. What we did this month was we took a pre-con anything from Zendikar rising forward and we've been updating it every week with about $20 worth of cards. So generally everybody has got the same amount of value in here that $20 is a little higher, a little lower, depending on if that deck was worth more out of the gate. If it was a more expensive deck, we tried to weigh for that. So, looks like we are just about ready to begin. Let's swap over and see if we can meet our opponents. <clears throat> Everybody in this game, Cothern, Kirknall, Debuck, can y'all hear me? Nope, here we go. Unmute. There we go. Kirk, Debuck, Cothern, can y'all hear me? Yep. Yep, we're good. Perfecto. So, everybody, you can yeah, see me cool. up there in the top left. I'm running Millicent, Restless Revenant. The deck list for this deck and how I've upgraded it over time is down in the description. You should check it out. Up there, top right, Cothern Cards. Lance, if you will, is playing Lathrol, Blade of the Elves. Lance, you want to talk to us about how you've upgraded your deck over the last month? Uh, sure, I focus more on adding more cards than big money cards uh, to have a better chance at drawing things that can help me win the game, so. Nice, so past that, focus. you're just going to kind of go in standard elf tribal with it, nothing crazy? Yeah, for the most part. I think you got the uh, link to the deck list in the description as well. There you go. There you go. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I'm not going to keep this opening hand. I'm going to draw another one while Kirk, if you want to talk to us about how you've upgraded Gallia there. Sure. Um, it's basically a Voltron deck, uh, but uh, I started at the uh, the top end of our upgrade scores, so I didn't have a lot of points to play with. And being a three color deck, I used a lot of the early rounds to try to fix the mana base. Um, 
and just made a couple of changes today to hopefully get me a little bit more meat because there's not a lot of creatures and uh maybe uh get a finisher in there and something to help me control the board a little bit because i got swarmed a lot nice yeah voltron's not an easy build so you've got to take a lot of things into to account for sure debuck Vrondis rage of the ancients down there in the bottom right what'd you do with your deck uh i kind of went somewhere different a lot of the guys were saying go rage and ping a lot <clears throat> i went more dragon tribal with it but it's hard because dragons are expensive right yeah um, not not there are some good budget options there but not a ton but it does have some nice little so i can go big with some dragons and do a little bit of pinging Well, very cool. With my Millicent deck, which I'm going to mull yet again, the it's it's straight up spirit tribal, and I kind of went the lance direction where, like my second week, I put in more budget interaction spells so that I had enough interaction to what I thought was acceptable for the deck. Made sure that we had the right amount of spirit still too so that we can call it a spirit tribal deck in the league are there any special rules on mulligan or am i going down to six here you get one free mulligan then you start losing a card one two three all right so i'm going to six i definitely upgraded the consistency of this deck a few more draw a few more targeted removal you do get to draw seven and then put one on the bottom if that makes a difference. I didn't see if you hit six or seven. Oh, I hit six. I do get to draw one and put one on the bottom. I like that. That one on the bottom. Okay, perfect. I'm going to roll a D6 and reorganize this board here. And we'll get to it. Everybody else good to go? Ready to rock? Yep. Just watch KC yep. take down Buffalo. Everybody. F's in chat for Bobby Z. Roll a yeah, three. Okay. What is this? Reset gate randomize. One. Two. Three. Oh, sick. Okay. Looks like I'm going first. Everybody ready to roll? Yeah. All right. Let's do this thing. Yeah, be careful. You're showing us your hand, Joel. Yeah, I'm trying to. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Planes pass. That's on the stream cam. Forest soul ring pass. Cool. Have you muted there? Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Oh, Another cool. Soul Ring. Uh, sorry, I was muted. Um, yeah, you have my coast Soul Ring and pass the turn. Ay, ay, ay. Um, draw. And We're already popping off in this game. game. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Uh, mountain for a Soul Ring. You kidding? For a Gruel Signet. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Casual multi six, and everybody else gets their Soul Rings. My turn. Yeah. That's definitely a feel bad. Yeah, uh, Island Pass. This one's going to be an interesting one. Chat, let's catch up. How are y'all doing? Palmer, it's not always pre con, but at least every other month is pre con as the starting. For instance, next month we are doing randomly assigned commander legends commanders with a budget of a hundred dollars to start forest pay a uh, or canopy tactician pass turn eight mana on turn three provided you drop another land Thank you, BuzzFuzz. Yeah, we've also got another voice that you may hear pop in, Buzz, if you want to say, hey, this is our 
judge slash rules dude. You don't have to say hey. You don't have Hello. There we go. <laughs> Can you don't forget to click cards, Joel? I won't forget to click cards. So far, Canopy Tactician is clickable. Hoo-wee. This one has come off. Started off with a bang. Oh, Alex, Kirk, there's... You gotta unmute yourself. Oh, I was speaking so eloquently also. Um, so I'm going to nature's lore, go find a forest, uh, put it on the battlefield, and I'll tap the island. And play a winged boot. And then pass the turn while I go search for my forest. Flying in Ward 4. We will... Brian, how you doing, bud? This week should be a pretty big week in the MTG um, sphere. For red, green. And tap two. Double one colorless floating for a cultivate. And I'm going to get two forests. God. And I haven't played a land for turn, so I'll just put one in untapped and one in tapped and pass my turn. This is already going pretty brutally for me. Three green decks here. mirror entity Ooh. and say go this is so green rant rock rant I gotta do something to catch up here Anybody want to cut me? Just... There. Gonna play Lathril. There, Lathril is. Sighting. And uh, I'll swing at Kirknall with the 3 3 canopy tactician. I have no blocks. That's first blood. And double pass turn. All right. I will untap. Oh, the, uh, the forest I played was a canopy vista. That's what I pulled out. Nice. Draw for turn. Like that nature's lore. <laughs> Should be a pretty interesting week in the MTG world. We got our first look at Neon Dynasty on Thursday. We'll be streaming that, so make sure you're here Thursday morning if you're on the West Coast. Thursday lunch if you're on the East Coast. Jake and I will be reacting live to whatever we learn from our wizards play. overlords. Okay. I'll play a Thriving Isle tapped. Um, I will choose white. Don't know how to denote that. I think that's a card design problem. Uh, I'll tap an island. And soul ring. I'll play a blighted agent. Oof. And 
then I will use the extra one to put the boots on them. The winged boots, not the swift boots, unfortunately. And I will pass the turn. Tap. Draw. We'll play land for turn. So we got an unblockable infector down there on Kirk's board. Lance's seconds from popping off. Play a red for red, green, two, and three for bring my commander out. And for the other two, I will ramp it gross. Jesus. And I will get a forest and pass my turn. All right, let's go four. I played a Sky's Cloud Expanse. Let me go four for Drug Skull Reinforcements. And... I will say go. What is it, 10 poison counters? 10 poison counters. <clears throat> Gonna play uh, Temple Malady. Comes and play tapped. I scry one. Oh, uh, we'll put that on the bottom. Doc, I'm from Georgia, and Jake is in SoCal. Joel is not winning. Everybody say hey to Jake. Jake's typing there on the official Jake and Joel are magic chatting line. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> That's Jake, everybody. Say hey to Jake. And while you're down there typing hey to Jake, hit that like button. It wakes up YouTube and pushes this video out to more people. It's awesome. Going to uh, play Binding of the Old Gods. Nice. And my commander noobness will not know exactly what to target, but uh, I'm gonna go after the drog skull reinforcements. Oh, you're kit. Oh, Lance, you're hitting me instead of the infect guy. It has word four. Oh, I guess I can pay that, can't I? I forgot about my canopy tactician. Oh. I am gonna hit. I am gonna hit the. Um... Bro, why are you trying to kick me while I'm down? No, I, I appreciate you saying that. I didn't think about that. Um, I'm going to pay for for the ward on uh, the dude that has the boots on it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Joel. I didn't think I could target that. I Bro, I I'm sitting here with no soul <laughs> rings, no signets, no rampant growths and nature's lures, and you're like, I'm going to punch that guy. I'm going to see what happens. Spirits. This worries me. Um. I will um, move to my combat phase um, in swing lateral at Kurt because he can't block. Like he has two four fours whenever he wants them. It's a three four, <laughs> so it's three commander oh, damage. Do not. I'm talking about. I'm talking about Joel, not you. Do oh. not. Do not even start trying to make it seem like I'm the threat here. <laughs> I do not like infect. Um, Kirk, you take the three. Or do you have a response? Uh, oh, he's an, he's another elf. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, three commander damage. Uh, 
Uh, where is that? One, two, three. Okay. Um, so I make three one one L four your tokens. I don't think any of the precons are in fact Kirk, is that in fact creature in addition? Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, I figured. I think that was a weak one at Sorry, Kirk. Everybody, this is the last week you're watching the final match for our January Commander League. This match will, con will determine the four of ours points for the entire month. Kirk, I believe it's your turn. Oh, is it? I will then untap. <clears throat> Draw for turn. Jake is six oh. foot eight. Play an island. He's a very tall man. Jake is Alpha and Omega. Alright, played an island for a turn. Um... I am going to tap two islands. I'll tap this for a white. And I will tap this for a green. And I'll bring out my commander, Galia. There's Galia. She, she can kindle some hope for me. Um, first, I'm going to use her ability to look at the top card of my library. Sure. I'm going to suit her up. She now has Flying Vigilance and Ward 4. Ward 4. And I will pass turn. Interstellar Reaper, what are you talking about? Uh, Get out of here. Uh. How many cards in y'all's hand? Kirk Paul has three. Gotcha. I will play Under Dark Rift for my land for turn. Hmm. Going for attacks, and I will swing at Lance. You can go ahead and declare blockers if. Yeah, it sorry, I'm a, it, it real quick. Yeah, it does have enrage. Right. Whenever it's dealt five, damage, five, you may create a five-four with when it deals damage, sack it, and then it can ping itself if you roll a dice. I will uh, jump block with an elf. Ooh. Okay. So I'll get a dragon. It's hard because it's commander, right? Do you want to take the five commander damage or do you want to let me have a dragon spirit that gets sacked? <laughs> All right. For a red, I want to play Dragon Master Outcast. Ooh. And. For. 
a green one and two. I'm going to play a Nara. A Nara. Nice. As long as it's your turn, commanders you control have indestructible. So it has to be my turn. And... I will pass the turn after that. Yeah, that's as much as it'll as it'll load in right now for some reason. Also, Dragon Master Rock has there's an R. There we go. Okay, my turn. Untap, draw. Temple of False God. <laughs> There's worse fifth lands. I'm gonna go three for Skyclave Apparition. When it ETBs, I'm gonna exile up to one target non land, non token permanent. I don't control CMC four or less. We're gonna go ahead and exile the Dragon Master Outcast. Oh, don't do that, Joel. It's a little too dangerous, man. The sky's the sky is my territory. Just leave me alone in the sky. The Outcast has been cast out. <laughs> and then. Ah, I'm going to say pass. Untap, draw. Yeah, Lathril's definitely got a good chance. Bait master of, uh, of popping off. Lathril explodes. Binding, looking for a forest. I will shuffle my deck after my turn, assuming I don't have to do anything with it. This turn, if I do, I'll shuffle before we get there. Um... Comes into play tapped from Binding of the Old Gods. Uh, play a forest. Um. I will move to combat nobody has anything um i will attack kirknall with my three four menace lathral i do have a thing but i can't do anything about Benache. um so he's still just a four or a three three correct and i'm just gonna sit here and eat it Okay. Um, I get three. And that's three more commander damage. Elves. Um, going to. This Lathro is going crazy already. Pay black, black, two colorless, and a green. Um,. Play Ruthless Winnower. Beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non elf creature. Uh, and then I'm going to pay two green. Taps me out and play Wirewood Herald. 
whenever it is put into a graveyard from play, I may search my library for an elf card. If I do reveal that card and put it into your hand, then shuffle. We'll pass the turn and now shuffle my deck. Ruthless Winter was brutal for you, Kirk. Wait, is she an elf? Oh my god, she's an elf! Oh wait, she is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Still got. I was, it, I was pulling out my die so I can start counting up. <laughs> <laughs> Galia is an elf knight. Well, I'll get out of the way then, since it doesn't matter. Okay, on your upkeep, I'll tap three and peace within it, so me and Joel don't have to sacrifice. I appreciate okay. that, debuck. So I get a three-three beast. Yep. I might get right. to play a second even after you. I uh, will play my little five five. Yeah. Maker. Get the so winnow up. Will... This winnow is good. Draw. I know what that is. Because I got to look before. I'm going to look again. Cool. It's cool like that. Everything he has is going to have death touch next turn, too. Hmm. From binding? Oh yeah, gain that gonna... touch until end of turn. Yep. Sorry, this is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna play an evolving wilds and crack it so I can shuffle. Sure. Foil uh... evolving wilds, by the way. Yeah, it's so crazy. I can't believe they put that in this deck. It's so broken. You could find any basic land you want. It's crazy. I love those fetch lands, you know? That's evolving wild is my favorite fetch land. Oh get a forest. Jake, why did you pen the comment? Where are Jay and Jay from? <laughs> They're from New Brunswick, New Jersey. Has anybody checked in on Bobby Z? <laughs> <laughs> that game has to have been a... Uh... An emotion, an emotional roller coaster for the boy. He was last seen in his front yard laying on a broken table. Right. <laughs> I want to cut. Uh, I'm gonna look. I don't know, big waste of time. There's only way to get tech to work. You talking about uh, what happened to to Bobby Z Buzzfuzz? His team lost today. Minutes ago. Does Lance have any flyers? No. Lance, no. He is earthly. Earthly bound. Lance. I will move to my combat phase. Four. And swing at you with Galia in the air for four. Alright. And is that infect counters? No, 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 no. The infector's dead. No, just, just, oh, just, that just, was just, flying, just flying vigilance. That was the Sorry. I thought it was the equipment. Four commander. Yep. Gotcha. Everybody in chat, we appreciate y'all hanging out for the last week of the Damn. January Commander League. Hit that like button if you would. Really helps us out. Then Wakes I up YouTube. Pass the turn. Right now, much to be passing the turn with. right now we're at a point uh, in this choice. game where everybody's got a ton of mana except for me and everybody's got their guns drawn or pointed at each other, but nobody's pulling any triggers quite yet. Lance, in my opinion, has the most scary board. Draw. That's pretty fragile too. A little board wipe action and there's a lot of rebuilding to do over there. Kirk has got the potential here to pop like crazy. If he can draw the right equipments and auras. And then debuck, Play. you know, can always summon a dragon army out of nowhere. Cinder Glide. Well, I can get rid of one card for just a little bit. I have Under Dark Rift. Let's check out what Under Dark Rift does. I'm not familiar with this card. Exile it, roll a d10, put an artifact creature, planeswalker into its 
owner's library just beneath the X cards of that library. Oh, interesting. What does that do to a commander? Just fires it back to the command zone or I guess puts it in the deck and they can wait to draw it? One of their option. Yeah, you get the option. Yeah. Oh. So. It's an interesting little uncommon that can go in any deck. It's a pretty interesting card. Nice little budget colorless exile for an artifact or creature. Walker, I'm less enthusiastic about, but you know, it's always nice to have options. Let's start off by doing that, I guess. And you're going to be nice if I get him right. Uh, his elf commander right there, Joel. Say it again. So you can be nice if I get his elf commander. I need to get some damage through, but bit. my priority right now is getting these elves back under control. I will uh, pull so, Lassen back to the command zone if that's what you're deciding. Yeah, that's what I'm going to end up doing. I just got to pay right. five into it. That's There's fine. two. You can four, wait and see if it's a one. Five. Lance. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, you oh, can. He has if, you, to, if he rolls a one I'm or a two, it's not that bad. D10. I forgot about the dice thing. Let's say if it's more than three. If it's three or more, you've, you're not really... You're definitely going back to command zone, but one or two is at least a decision. That's true. Uh, two is probably not even a decision for me. All I think right. I just pull it back. Here's my D10. Zero is 10. <laughs> yeah, that's command zone. Yeah, let's say command zone. <laughs> and I'll <clears throat> create a dragon spirit. Didn't didn't know he was gonna crit there, Lance. He used and the underdark rift. It got exiled. I Top right will... card. Go to combat. If I swing at him, he's going to sack the one elf to be able to go get an elf. Yeah, that's going to happen whenever, though. Um, That is true. Well... This will help a little bit, I guess. A red and colorless for Dragon Tempest. And I will go in for combat. Dragon Tempest. Lance. Just my commander. Okay. One second while I read Dragon Tempest. This is on Dragon's ETBs and then Flyers gain haste. Nothing right now. It's just on the board. When, it, when a dragon enters, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. Yeah. Okay. Debuck, um, make sure that land gets exiled. It's not in your graveyard. Oh, yeah. That sorry. starts to get to be really unfun when his commander starts making a bunch of dragons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm zero. My ramp has burned through my hand. So we're still yeah, at decaying um, attackers at. I'm gonna Lance. take the five commander damage there. Okay. Banning bots, going through and banning bots. Well, I did what I could, guys. Ah, you got the lateral off the battlefield. That was very helpful. I passed okay. my turn. Untap and draw. What happens if I turn this off?
I will pay four. For Millicent. She is seven reduced by one, two, three. So four. Temple Defaults God is four. <clears throat> hmm. And that is actually that's going to do it for me right now. Yes. Tap draw. All my creatures have death touch. So just a little catch up while Lance is thinking about his turn there. I've got mirror entity. Drug Skull Reinforcements, Skyclave Apparition that exiled um, the Dragon Master Outcast that Debug had, and then Millicent, my commander. Lance has got the Canopy Tactician, which is a triple Anwar Elves and a Anthem. Got Wirewood Herald waiting to die, meant an existence only meant for death, and a Soul Ring. Kirk's got Galley on the battlefield equipped with the... Uh, with the winged boots flying in ward four pretty pretty nutso equipment honestly i really like that equipment and then got a soul ring hiding down there behind the yavamaya coast and then debug board he's got a nara world wolved familiar giving commanders indestructible on his turn vrondis obvi chilling on the board making dragon spirits that if they deal damage have to be sacrificed then backed up by a nice little dragon tempest where Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield, it gains haste, and then any dragons ET being on debug deal damage to any creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. So, pretty brutal. That does lose me the token if it's the token coming in, because the token deals damage, and then I'm forced to sacrifice it. Oh, interesting. And it's not a May, so you have to do that. Yeah. That is an interesting little wombo nombo. It's not. Yeah. Wolvid? Wolvid familiar? I'm being criticized for my pronunciation. Wolvid, yeah. Anara Wolvid familiar. Gonna play Realmwalker choosing elves. I may look at the top of the library or card of my library anytime if it is a creature spell that's an elf. I can play it from the top of my library. Realmwalker, one of the cool, cool creature based cards that got printed for Commander last year. Um, we'll go ahead and pay two green, play the card on top of my library. It is a Dwinan's Elite, which creates an elf warrior token because I control an elf. I'm going to go ahead and consolidate these. So we have five that are non summoning six sickness, one that has it. Um, then I can look at the next top card in my library. There's a few elves on that battlefield there debucking Kirk. We got to do something here. Um, and then. Yeah, elves be doing elf things. Hey, they I try do. to do my thing. You have flying over there, Joel. Yeah, just here. Oh, ground, ground, ground. I've drawn three of my Three of the like total maybe four spirits in this deck that don't have flying. Oh, Skylight Vaporation, that's a good one. How many points was that? Um, that's a good question. Is that in the deck? Yeah, Skyclave is what I cast against the out uh, against the Dragon Master. No, no, but it wasn't. It's not. Um. Oh no, no, no! It's not stock. Um, 
Sorry, guys. Just one second. No, you're good, man. Take your time. We got this. Is the last week of the of the show. We got to make it count. Oh, your deck was a zero too, wasn't it? Yeah, my deck was a zero, so I got twenty two every week. I think that would have drove me a little crazy. I was a four. I got sixteen points. Too many options. <laughs> Uh, just let me put a lot more of the like good two and three dollar interaction and support cards in it, you know. Yeah. Skyclave apparition is five fifty. My whole deck ended at seventy eight dollars. I think it was in the eighties. Seventy eight dollars and eighty eight cents. Yeah, I think if it was done correctly, that's around where everybody should have landed. Uh, I think mine's like, I don't know, after three rounds of upgrades, it's like forty two. I don't know what it started as. Oh, wow. Nice. Gonna cast last roll from the command zone for six. So I only got 14 a week. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll pass the turn. Kirk, you go. Not gonna use those really touch. I will untap my forest. Draw a card. Fortunately, knew what that was gonna be. Obadiah, what's up? Yeah, Divine, you're right. I've had a lot <clears> of fun <throat> with it. I've had a lot, a lot of fun with it. There's the, uh, I just dropped my deck list in there. That's, that is where it's at I'm now. Use, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm, I'm going to use Glee's ability to look at the top of my library. Yep. Nice. Everything in the sideboard of that list I just dropped. No, Lance chose not to attack with the death touchers. Everything in that list in the sideboard of that list I just dropped is what I took out of the precon to replace with some of the some of the cards that I did. Play another forest. My land for turn. Uh, Lance, what's in your graveyard? Binding of the old gods and ruthless winnower. I can hold this up if you want. No, that's no, okay. Thanks. I have no um, graveyard currently. Joel has no graveyard. Uh, Debuck, what do you got in there? A couple spells and then something you exiled? I oh, got Beast your, Within, yeah, Dragon Master, Outcast, Rampant Growth, and Cultivate. Okay. Yeah, the Dragon Master's exiled, though. Nope. Oh, yep, you're in. I just feel like I need to get a creature out on the board. Oh, tap the Thriving Isle for a white. And the Soul Ring. And you have my Coast for Colorless. I don't play uh, Angel of Finality. Oh, nice. Targeting Lance. Exile your graveyard. Okay. So, trade that winner where going to come yeah. back. Because you got... I don't know what sort of a reanimation you got in there, if any. Um, and I'll swing for you, and don't mean to pick on you, but uh, I'll, I'll swing for you in the air. I will block with nothing because I have nothing. And Brody, y'all are playing right now. Up in the best turn. While Debuck is untapping everybody, I just dropped in the chat the link to our Discord. If you want to play in our Commander League in the future, if you just want to play some pickup games of Commander, if you want to talk MTG Finance like in the minute, there's a lot of early pings. We try and always let people know what we're going to be making videos about finance wise, especially our patrons before they actually come out. Go jump in our Discord. I just dropped the link right there. Come join the community. Well, um, cards in hand, everybody. I'm sitting on three. Lance has one. Debuck has one. I got a pair. You got two. two. I got two.
I am going to play my land for turn. Bounce land. And go to combat. So who wants to chump block me? And I can deal four damage to something. What are you trying to do four damage to? Oh, nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lathril's got enough elves on the board to do that ability. I suppose we take care of Lathril. But all I can do. You want to take care of the Skyclay Evaporation so I can get a 1 1 for my Dragon Master Outcast back? <laughs> Um, no, I like my apparition, man. His name's Peter. We've been getting to know each other. I suppose I'm going to come go to combat and go five at Lance. Keep taking on commander damage. Why not? Okay, hold on a second. Is your commander damage count? Eight. Mm, that shouldn't be eight for Lathril. Five for Vrondis. He's at five for Vrondis and eight for, eight Gallia. for Got it. Gallia. Oh, decisions, decisions. I will, uh... Yeah, Zach. That's what I said. I said Peter's a pretty normal name for a spirit. And he was like, well, why are you being judgy, asshole? Gonna block with <laughs> triple block with Lathril, uh, one of my warriors, and the Wirewood Herald. So that's uh, four damage and five toughness. So all my guys die. And you get to go elf hunting. Yep. Kill, kills Vrondis. Oh no, Vrondis is indestructible. Oh, he yeah. is crap. I forgot about that. Oh, Row. Created dragon spirit. Well, I guess all my guys die. Strike that. Oh. Reverse it. That's how you learn. Brutal. And I'll ping four damage at You can Joel. get your uh, little spirit. Yeah, I think Joel didn't want to make a deal with me. And he did take care of my spirit. We put Lance back peg. Let's do four damage here. Does your commander got a buff on it? Nope. Commander's well, a four four flyer. So four damage to your commander then. Uh in response to that. That's gonna happen. Whenever she dies, I create a one one spirit. No, well, my little dragon spirit will go away. And that's my turn. Pass. Give me just a minute denoting my tax on Millicent. Okay. Uh, popping in here. The trip. The triple block for Lance. I don't think all his creatures would die. Don't they have plus one plus one? Oh, they do. Good call. Well, I'll sign it to your commander. So that's four of it. And then the rest, I don't know. It don't matter what the rest would survive. Yeah, everything well, else would survive. You... Yeah. So just the commander. Thanks for the catch, Judge. E. You got to shuffle that elf back in. Um, I didn't pick it. Oh, yet, you didn't even so find I'll just it. Shuffle my library because I was looking through. Hey, it. he's got to—he's got to put all of his cards back in the order they were. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and start working on that, Lance. Please, we're gonna check <laughs> okay. it. So, let me know uh, when you guys hit your next stream, and I'll continue playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm doing my turn now. 
It's happening. All right, so seven reduced by four is three. Millicent is five. So I'm going to recast Millicent. Four, four, and three, four. And these are all five, four. And then the elves are enormous forever and ever. Amen. Yeah, I just need to, I'm just going to pass. Hard to get anything going right now. No worries, Buzz. Thank you for your help on that one. Jake asked, what made me pick Millicent? Honestly, I thought my thinking going in was it's a pre-con league. Everybody's going to be a little bit lower power and the entire deck is based in flying. And so it was like an aggro deck, which is my style already. It was blue, white, which are colors I don't normally play. So it was kind of like trying a new thing. And I thought that I would have sort of a natural built-in advantage just having a ton of flying creatures. That was my thought anyway. I like how Millicent's got built in board wipe protection. Because if Looking she or any of your deck. Sure thing. Because if she or if any of her non token creature army dies, you get the token in response. So you can even wipe the board yourself if you need to. Like right now, if I wiped the board, I would get four 1 1 flyers. And that's just, that seems really good to me. Especially when you start. Um buffing them up with cards like mirror entity or any of my flyers that buff flyers phantom the phantom overlord whatever his name is that kind of stuff sorry lance no you're fine uh gonna tap the canopy tactician play elvish arch druid uh other elves get plus one plus one add a green for each elf you control you find a better place for this sorry um i guess i'll put them over here so it's different for her um i love that art on elvish shards druid that's cool yeah debuck made the dragon the four damage hit and millicent and then the dragon died i recast millicent so on my turn the third time i cast that i have to pay commander tax four right yes okay yeah, yeah. so it'll be six Sorry. a six tax well, the first time you play it free. Correct. And then the second time it's oh, two. Oh, I and see. And the third time it's four. Gotcha. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. I thought you okay. meant... Sorry, I, I was hearing you wrong. That's my bad. No, I, I'm just new to Commander, so I want to make sure... Yeah, you I got it. ...knew what I was talking about. Yeah, in golf. Exactly. I've always loved Commanders that reduce their own Commander tax through some means, whether it's like going and getting a land like Golos or whether it's an ability like Millicent where she her cost gets reduced. I think that's really fun. I'm um, going to play Lathril again. That's, that's three plays on Lathril. Yep, that's the third time I've played her. And uh, based on the current state of the board, I will pass the turn. Shoo-wee. Okay. All right, we'll untap. Draw for turn. I will look at the top with Galea's ability. Brutal. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how many how many times you've missed on that so far, or at least it, oh, you've made it seem like you have. Um, I'll play Port Town tapped because I have no land to show. Hmm. No, 
around. D book, you don't have any flyers. Um, I'm just gonna pop you for four in the air. We gotta try to level set things. And well, I'll pass the turn. Go ahead. Tap. Draw. Well, that's fun. Tap my soul ring for the fan fight arcane signet. Hey, will you hold that up to the camera? That's so cool seeing one yeah. in the wild. Awesome. Play, play my land for turn. Y'all, this get was bonus points for that. We had a we had a series last year, chat called fan fights where we would play brawl against each other and this was one of the trophies for winning one of the seasons of fan fights debuck that's very cool man thank you for running that yeah no problem and i have no cards i'll go into attacks and jesus christ in golf the basic i haven't touched the land base of this deck that was another thing jake to answer your question further why did i choose millicent because out of the box the mana base looked really good or at least ready to go joel's still the only one at 40 coming at you joel you ding dong can't believe you did that oh you can block it and mm. let me ping his commander again i know you get the plus one plus one i wouldn't be able to kill him I think you would. Would it? It's a yeah, four it's a two, five. Three. It's a four five right now. Yep. Ah. Dang. I can take care of the flying commander that hit me. No, you need ward four on that. I guess you'd have to pay four on top uh, of that. Oh, I have four. Um. <laughs> I'm just going cards. to, I'm just going to take the five. Okay. Pass turn. All right, untap. And draw. I'm going to play oh. everything good. I'm going to play kind of one floating after I do this. I'm going to use Temple of the False God on an island. Pay two for winged words. Draw two cards. Cost one less if I control a creature with flying, which I do. I'm just going to draw two. So I've got one floating. That takes care of your mulligan. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Winged Words. We appreciate your help. Only took a few turns to get there. Only a few. I'm going to play... Pay three for Mentor of the Meek. And then I'm going to go to... Attacks. I'm going to swing... Millicent in the air at debuck and I'm gonna swing this spirit token in the air at Lance now all of my spirits have melee which means when it attacks it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each opponent I attacked this turn so my attackers are gonna get plus two plus two because I'm attacking Lance and I'm attacking debuck trying to point correctly so Millicent's gonna come in for six debuck in the air and this spirit token is going to come in for three at you, Lance. Took three. I took the six. Um, when Millicent connects, trigger happens and I get a spirit token. And then when Mentor of the Meek sees the spirit token come into play, I'm going to pay one 
to draw a card and then I pass. Draw if anybody card. if anybody needs me to move my creatures so you can click on my cards, just let me know. I'm just trying to clean up so it's a little more legible over here. How many cards does everybody have in their hand? I have six. Zero. Six. Rick's got two. I got two. Millicent. Okay, so if we're gonna talk about Mill Millicent's gender, first off, Millicent is dead. She that is a spirit. So I'm not sure that it has gender at all, but I'm assuming Millicent is a female name. So that's why I've been referring Millicent to is a 98 year old woman that hangs out at a country club. Right. That's that's the way I that's the way I thought about it. And so I've always referred to Millicent as a she. Not presuming to know her pronouns, as it were. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. basically. Uh pan three. Staff domination. Oh. Nice. Assuming Kirk's gonna counter this. Um If you can. Well, I counter it so much as I'll, I'll curse and grip it. Okay. Um. It has a split second. Right. So you can't respond yeah, at all. There's no response. Shouldn't though. Hang on. Let's work on the timing of this though. Did you have priority, Kirk, after the domination? Because staff has to hit the battlefield. And then I think Lance has priority. So Lance can that activate it and put an activation on the stack. And then that would pass priority back to you unless Lance, you moved into your attack step without activating it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I'll be honest. Yeah, I was going to activate the, it. So you well, were, the, is that cool is more of a counter thing. And what I was doing wasn't a counter. So it did do it would actually hit before I got to do anything. Right. I just, <clears throat> what? Yeah. So you feel free to happening. Feel free to go ahead yeah, and activate it, it just for the purposes of what we're doing here. And then okay. the Crows and Grip is going to hit it and it's going to get aced. Right. Let me decide what I want to do real quick. Um, I guess I will. Um, hmm. Unless. So my advice, take it or leave it. Hang on. I need to look at it and make sure of all the modes. Can gain a life, untap target creature, tap target creature, draw a card. But yeah, it costs I'm increasingly more. I'm looking at these, and honestly, how many cards in your hand? I just have one. I'm probably gonna draw a card. Yeah, I think that's gonna be your best bet here, just because you can't activate the whole untap and go again. Right. Um, well, I, when I activate a draw a card, then Kirk gets priority, and he split seconds it, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll you'll... draw a card then. Okay, so there Pain you go. Page three of the Canopy Tactician, two of the Soul Ring. Yep. Sorry, I kind of jumped the gun there. No, dude, no, it's all it's... good. It's one of those oh, things so... where Arena that's would do it for you, ad. but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Pros and Grips a week four ad? Nice. So you're seeing, yeah. a, seeing a last minute replacement. There's a bench player right here, came into the game. Um, using Realm Walker to look at the top card in my library. Um, I will, uh, play with Alana Scarblade. Uh, tap a discard an elf target creature gets minus x minus x until end of turn where x is the number of elves you control whoa we slide it down just a little bit so i can get a full click yep, on it sorry no you're fine Not bad it is all good there we go this alana scarblade first off this art is sick discard an elf minus x minus x where x is the number of elves oy, oy, oy.
Oh, gotcha, John. Yeah, Geist of St. Traft. I do believe that was a male figure in that art. At least in the in the first art for it, I'm assuming that they could make that any, any gender they wanted to with subsequent reprints. And uh, I will move to combat. Decide if I want to attack anybody. I do not. And I will pass my turn. This is the last Scarblade. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, it's a cool card. I was like, like Lorwyn or the Onslaught or you know, somewhere a long time ago. It wasn't Onslaught. Um, it does look kind of like Lorwyn art. Honestly, if I didn't know that elves weren't on Kamigawa, it kind of looks like OG Kamigawa art. The like shrine looking things in the background of the art. It does. Eternal yeah. Masters. Yeah. Uh, untap. I'll draw. And I'll look. <sighs> I'll play Sword of Hours off the top. There it is. And... It auto the equipment gets to gets to auto attach to somebody. Yep. And I guess just the sensible to put okay. it on on Galia. So sort of hours when the equipped creature attacks, it gets a plus one plus one counter. And when it deals combat damage, I roll D twelve. If the result is more than the damage dealt or a twelve, then I double the number of plus one plus one counters. Sheesh. So it doesn't get a it doesn't get a plus bonus immediately. I have to attack with it first. Still, that's a good card. That's an uncommon too. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I'll look again. <sighs> I'll play a command tower. My land for turn. Cards in hand after that. Ooh, no. Unless you want to make me draw. Oh, no, not yet. Um, Maybe in the future. We'll see. You don't have, you don't have one there, Kirk? Uh, yeah, this That's one. what we said. Oh, okay. I got zero. Um, and I'm not going to swing in the flyers. So, uh, oof, uh, I guess I'll... Oh yeah, sort of hours plus double strike. Really at you, debug. All right, so, um, so and, oh, and I got a little. So it gets a plus one plus one counter on yeah. the attack. Yeah. So that would be five, and then I got this dice app. So I'll hit this to roll a d12. It's an eight. Oh, this is after it. Uh, that, that's after, oh, it that's is. After it is going to deal damage, though, right? Debuck. He's got nothing in yeah. hand, and there's no how flyers. Much you, uh, yeah, how much you hit me for? Um, just five. Um, and then I double the number of counters. So he goes at plus two, plus two. So it's a six, six now. Yeah, that's cool. Somebody in chat said that goes well with double strike. That'd be crazy. Each hit oh, man. to roll the d12. <laughs> Love that. Because at a certain point, you're hoping for crits, right? Because the the damage will out always outdo the rolls. He's Kirk of uh, so nice. Of white. I know, but I mean I I can't just have a attacker that doesn't doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, I guess I could put a lance. Yeah, he doesn't have a flyer. It's all right. That lateral does not have summoning sickness at this point, right? Correct. Now I'll play a Arden Intrepid Archaeologist. And with an empty hand, I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw.
I suppose. Not quite what I wanted. Two. Five. And actually. So for red and five, I'll play Warstorm Surge. Ooh. Whenever a creature and... enters the battlefield under your control, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Wow, 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 wow. Same thing oh, as the Dragon Tempest. Save the Chris and Grip. That doesn't really matter. I still lose those dragons when they come in. They just trigger twice. Right. So now I could actually kill something. Where are J and J from? That is a good question. Um. I am gonna come in at Lance. Uh, and you get the biggest board. I will take five commander damage. Is that fifteen? Oh, is that what it is? To what? What is it? To you need twenty-one to die from commander damage. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's fifteen. Sorry. Yeah, it's good to know. What's 15? I have 15 commander damage on him with Frondus. Oh, gotcha. And I pass my turn. Okay, let's untap. See the bend on this? What the hell? All right, here we go. I'm going to pay three for Nico Ona. Nico Ona, when it enters the battlefield, I can destroy an enchantment. And I'm going to destroy the Warstorm Surge. So I'm going to dug into their common Java. Oh, yeah, dude. Or was she in there? Oh, yeah. Nico Ona is great. Yeah, she could spear it, too. Uh, when she ETBs, I'm going to pay one for Mentor of the Meek and draw a card. Can you hold up, Nico Ona? Absolutely. Yeah, it wasn't clicking for me either. I had to. Okay, thank you. I got it. Yeah, of course. Okay, attacks. Millicent is going at debuck. These two spirit tokens are going at Lance. I'm attacking two opponents, so all my creatures get plus two, or all my spirits get plus two, plus two. So six from Millicent in the air, debuck, and then six from my tokens in the air, Lance. I took it. When Millicent connects, spirit token created, I'll pay one, draw a card with Mentor of the Meek. One, two, How many points three. was Mentor of the Meek? Mentor of the Meek was in the list, stock list. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I'm looking at that for February. I have to discard, discard Karmic Guide. So you have seven in your hand? Seven in my hand, and I am passing the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm activating Lathral. Yep. Uh, yep. So I come. <clears throat> Everybody takes or loses ten life. I gain ten life unless somebody has a response. Nope. 
My response is, boy, you got a lot of elves. Thanks. I think. I guess I'll lose 10. Yeah, we all lose 10 there. Untap, draw. Realm Walker ability, look at the top card in my library. Yeah, the last, the last like five minutes of the KC Bills game was insanity. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I haven't checked on Bobby Z. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know in what state he finds himself tonight. Probably not the best. No, probably not the best. Just the hunch. Um, gonna pay two green and two colorless from Soul Ring for Elmish, Elvish Promenade. Create a one-one green Elf Warrior creature token for each Elf you control. Joel, do you have any responses? Since you're the only one with hand. I do not. Okay. Um, so I get six. So I'm just going to change um, this one to six. So these are my six that don't have summoning sickness. These six do have summoning sickness. Gotcha. And that goes in my graveyard. Um, I'm going to play Grim Backwoods for my land. Um, going to pay two of black and a green. And sacrifice one of the non summoning sickness elves to draw a card, or one of the summoning sickness elves to draw a card. And I get to look at the top card of my deck. All right. Um, a little bit of a vibe going here, chat. There's Bobby. Everybody F's in chat for Bobby. I will, uh, that look at, I'm going to look at the top card of my library because I forgot what it was. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll pass the turn. I will untap. I'm uh, putting it over here because it's also blue and white. Nice. Um, draw. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, gotta look. No. That's no fun. Be careful with that. I saw what that card was. Oh, you did? I don't think my camera's that good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, so you should have gotten 12 elf tokens, not six. I thought it was a little low. So, it's, uh, oh, it's for each elf I control. Each elf straight up. So put six more on top of that summoning sickness pile. Take that one right, up to okay. 11 and you'll be good to go. Thank you. No worries, man. You're getting compliments in chat oh, for being new to Commander, but being good at it. Thank you. How many elves do you have total? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
17, 24. Yeah, he basically got it by next turn. He's got it right now. Yeah, but you can't tap all of them. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Tap untapped yeah. elves. I'm gonna sick now. I have to, un I have to untap Lathril. Yeah. To do it again. Yeah, the Lathril has to yeah. untap on his turn. Uh, oh, I, oh, Lathril's untapped on his board. No, I have to tap Lathril to activate the ability. So he gets to do it once per round, basically. Yes, unless I have a way to untap last roll. Oh, you just brought him back into play? Killed. It's been in play. It's this one right here. What's oh, the I'm, I'm sorry. What's no, the confusion, Kurt? I didn't, see, I, didn't see, I didn't see the tap symbol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got oh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you could just keep tapping 10 elves and yeah, just drain yeah. us yeah. out. Yeah, like, Lathril, Lathril's broken, not busted. Yeah. Lathril has mode. to tap itself. All right, so I'm going to tap... Uh, that a white and a green and i'll play a knight of autumn sick and i will hmm. and lance doesn't have any funky enchantments over there does he those are all just creatures correct so i'm thinking the move here is gain four life <laughs> I think I will. Yeah, we get you an extra turn for him to happen. Um, and no flyers. So I guess Lance, I got to swing at you because you're big. Um, what? What? So am he I gets facing. Uh, it's a uh, Galia. Right. But it's like, um, what, seven now, coming at me? It's now a seven. Yeah. Flying. Um, in response, I'm going to uh, tap 10 elves. Bye, D-Buck. And I'm going to gain 10 life. Yep. Bye, guys. Sorry, D-Buck. Oh, oh, my God. So, oh, no. Card right on top was Kindred Summons. That's why you take players uh -huh. out when you can. Yeah, that'd have been fun. And uh, so I'm taking Oof. seven. Is that right, Kirk? Yeah. And then That's the roll. Commander damage. And then the dice roll. Yep. Yeah. So you, and the other, the other eight is also Galia. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I think you're at roll. 15 Galia damage right now. Oh. You My assigned bad, it sorry. as lateral damage on yourself. I like hurting myself, apparently. <laughs> wow, I gotta wrap things up. <laughs> and I will roll the 12 sided die again. Yep. Uh, so I need a greater than, so I need a eight or better. Hey, yeah. They're up to six, so it's a ten ten now. One. Um Oh, and I already looked at the top was massively disappointed. So I'll pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna play Resculpt and I'm going to exile Lathril, and you get a four four blue and red elemental creature token, Lance. Okay. Back to the command zone. Um, so I get a 4-4. Four, four. I feel like I have a 3-3 three, three from something earlier that I got lost and never made. Drawing card. Somebody like elephant something mayor. Something or other. I'm gonna play, th pay three for frantic search. Draw two cards, yeah, discard good. two cards. Untap up to three lands.
This card one. Did you take your ten, Kirk? From last yeah, round? yeah, I was at I was at thirty before. You're at thirty. Oh, we, oh, oh, he did another ten, didn't he? Yeah, he just Sorry. killed me. I did, I, yeah, it that took I me did. from twenty-five to fifteen. Good call. Um, I still have to discard one more card. Give me just a second. Sorry. I'm going to discard Thunderclap and untap three with the rest of Frantic Search. Play a land. I'll pay two for Azorius Signet. Then I'm going to cards in hand, Lance. One. Uno. Uno. And you got what untapped? That one land untapped as, as far as mana? Uh, well, I have oh, the and your one elf, land. Your and elf then taps three. For, yeah, your elf taps for three. Bazillion, however many that is. Elvish Arch Druid is a lot right now. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20 something mana. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to Kirk, you got cards in hand? I do not. Okay. I'm going to swing at Lance with Millicent, Spirit Token, Spirit Token, Spirit Token, Apparition, and Drug Skull. They all have melee, so they're all going to get plus one, plus one. And okay. I'm going to make their base power and toughness 7-7 seven, seven with mirror entity. Jeez. Okay. And so all of these are 8-8s eight coming at you. These four are in the air. These are on the ground. Well, I have no blocks for the air guys, so I am out of here. Thanks, guys. It may, It matters if these two get through. So will you tell me if you're declaring blockers for these two or if you're not? Um, yeah, I might as well block, um, the apparitions, the eight, eight and the other ones, uh, yeah, eight, they're, eight yeah, well. they're both, they're both eight, eights. Um, so I'll throw 12, uh, 14, 16. So I'll just block them with lots of stuff. So they die. Okay, yep, that's fair. How about that? Okay, so these two are going to die. That's going to get me two spirit tokens. When Millicent connects, that's going to get a spirit token. And... That's an elim. Kirk, pass it to you. Good game, Lance. GG Lance. Oh Those elves popped off. You had us next turn pretty much if if we didn't do anything to you. Yeah. Flyers were my weakness. I knew that coming in. If somebody had them, I was dead. <laughs> that is a lot of flyers. Kirk, your turn whenever. Yeah. Uh, it's not looking good. Yeah, I was uh, going I for that. the I was going for the one punch man approach there, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that uh the mirror entity is, is just a beast once you get a bunch of mana out. A couple yep. creatures. Mirror entity is dumb, especially in a flyer's deck. It's crazy. Draw a card. I knew that was going to be there. Oh, uh, look at the top. <laughs> Can't be kidding me. I need to take three lands out of this deck. <clears throat> I'll play this tap for turn. Um. 
in golf you make a joke about fog but in like week two i did a swing like that to try and win the game and i got fogged and everything went downhill from there Yeah, another life flick or anything. I think you got this one. Oh. Um. Eh, that's not gonna help at all. Uh, so we got your 10 in the air. Is Galia got trample? No. I'm gonna chump it with a spirit token. Sure. And pass turn. Okay, I'm gonna try and do the obvious here and just make all of my stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sevens by uh, default. That would have been smart. And swing at you with a bunch of seven sevens. That'll probably do it. GG's. I had, I had negate. I was ready for you if you tried to get sneaky with me with a. Uh, yeah, I got a, I got a cut card. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> GGs. That's my actually. That's my first first place in one of these weeks. That's pretty tight. Very well played. Yo, Congrats, very nice ball, guys. Lance, Kirk, D Buck, GGs. Okay, y'all. Quick little stream. Some of these games we've had go for like two and a half, three hours. This one only went an hour and 40. The spirits. Yeah, soul, soul rings do that. Soul ring. Yeah, it's crazy that I drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of mana the entire game. Millicent, y'all, Millicent puts up an incredible board state. And that's without, honestly, I kind of drew poorly too because. Nico doesn't have flying. Mentor's not a spirit. Neither of my other two spirits that I had on the battlefield had flying. And so the whole time I really wasn't able to get through and start creating tokens. But I just, you know, kind of, I figured if I could just keep netting one spirit token per turn and then protecting the mirror entity with the negate I had in hand, that eventually Lathril was going to suck the life out of everybody and as long as i could keep lance's life total under control which is why i just swung out there at the end that was my only option there was i gotta answer lathral right now with some player yeah, removal it's kind of cool that that it, even even through four weeks everything can still kind of remain a, a relatively competitive level with each other oh yeah oh yeah this has been this has been a fantastic format i would really recommend this to people who are like like go learn how to play commander but then Yo, play in a commander league like this. You're going to get to see a lot of cards. You're going to get to learn some deck building. There's been a lot of help in the league as far as like, should I run this? Should I run this? Look at my deck list. You know, that kind of stuff. And then it's all on it's all on a budget that's obtainable. And our league is proxy friendly. So, ting. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, that's going to do it for me tonight. We've got a big week ahead of us. We have got on Thursday midday if you're on the east coast and morning if you're on the west coast the announcement stream for the very first look at uh kamigawa neon dynasty we're gonna get to see that jake and i will be streaming that that morning so make sure you are subscribed and you're ready to see some kamigawa stuff on thursday morning past that we have got we got a new video dropping soon i'll very likely be streaming on tuesday I think we're going to get Arch Enemy going on Tuesday, y'all. I'm going to let some patrons play against me as the Arch Enemy and try and win some Dragon Shield products. Should be a fun time. Look out for a uh, scheduled stream for Tuesday. If that ends up happening this week, if things don't get too crazy, you'll see a scheduled stream for that Tuesday morning, Tuesday midday, and you'll know that we're going to fire that on Tuesday night. Other than that, y'all, join the Discord. I just dropped the link in the Discord if you want to Get involved with the MTG finance side of our community or the commander side of our community. It's a pretty excellent place to hang out if I do say so myself. If you want to support the channel directly, Patreon's the best place to do that. You can help us live out our dream of doing this full time. Other than that, I'm tapped out. I love y'all. Have a great Sunday night. Attack the week. 
get up tomorrow and go, this week is going to kick ass. I'm about to destroy this week and then do it. That's all I got for y'all. F's in chat for Bobby. Sorry, pal. That sucks, man. I was sitting there nervous and rooting for you. I swear I was. That's Jake. Everybody say goodnight to Jake. Y'all have a wonderful night. Spirits, baby. Millicent flying over. Air Force. Off we go into the white blue spirits. Flying high over the elves.